In this session, we are discussing a very important topic that is our function point. So, it is widely used to measure the size of the software. So, function point is the, is the way with the help of which you can calculate the respective size of the software. Function point concentrates on the functionality provided by the system. So, features and functionality of the system are used to measure the respective software complexity. If the features are more, if the functionalities are more, then obviously the software will be more complex. Function point counts on five parameters. So, we should care, carefully listen this one. So, function point counts five parameters and they are named as external input, external output, logical internal files, external interface files and the external inquiry. So, these are the five parameters which will be counted here. And to consider the complexity of the software, each parameter is divided into three different categories that is a simple, average and complex. So, here we are having three categories, here we are having five parameters. So, in this particular diagram, we have explained that one. So, let us see these parameters of function point. The first one is the extern external input. So, this is the point number one, this is our system boundary, this is the software program and there is a point number one that is the external input. Next one is the external output. So, external output will be coming out from the software program that is a point number two. Next we are having logical internal files. So, these are logical internal files. So, that is our point number three. So, here we are having external interface files. So, that is our point number four. So, here we are having this external which is outside of this respective uh, process boundary and there is the external interface files. And the last one is the external inquiry. So, there is the external inquiry that is a point number 5 here. So, here we are having this external programs and here the developer is developing the software. So, in this way the this 5 parameters we have demonstrated using this diagram. So, let us discuss each one of them into more details. So, at first we are going to discuss the first parameter that is the external input. So, every unique input to the system from the outside is considered as external input. Uniqueness of input is measured as no two inputs should have the same formats. So, no two input, no two input should have the same formats. So, this is the respective external input. These inputs can be either be a data or some control parameters. So, they can be categorized into three different categories. So, simple if the input count is low and affects less internal files. Complex if the input count is high and affects more internal files. Average in between simple and complex. So, here we are having this three different categories, three different categories for the parameter external input. Next one we are going for external output. All output types provided by the system are counted in this category. An output is considered unique if their output format and or processing are unique. So, if the formats are unique, if the processing are unique, then obviously they will be considered as a unique output. So, simple means if output count is low, complex means if the output count is high and average means in between simple and complex. Next one we are having the logical internal files. So, every software system maintains internal files in order to maintain its functional, functional information and to function properly. So, that is a very common property of all the softwares. So, these files hold the logical data of the system. This logical data may contain both functional data and control data. So, this is our logical internal files which we have shown in our respective diagram. So, simple means if the number of record types are low, complex means if the number of record types are high and average means in between simple and complex. Next one we are having this one, there is the external interface files which will be residing outside of the system boundary. So, software system may need to share its files with some external software. So, it may need to pass the file for processing or as parameter to some functions and all these files are counted as external interface files. 
So, when this particular software will try to interact with some other software, some external software, then, then for the communication, they might be using these external interface files. Simple means if the number of record types in the shared file are low. Complex means if the number of record types in the shared file are high and average means in between simple and complex. External inquiry. So, that is the last parameter we are going to discuss. An inquiry is a combination of input and output where user sends some data to unique about and as input and the system responds to the user with the output of inquiry processed. So, it is a combination of input and output. So, where the user will send some data in the form of inquiry and then the outputs will be obtained from the system to the user. The complexity of a query is more than external input and external output. So, complex of the query is more than the external input and corresponding the external output. So, query is said to be unique if its input and output are unique in terms of formats and data. So, here if you consider the simple category, if query needs low processing and its small amount of output data, complex means if the query needs high process and yields large amount of output data, average means in between simple and complex. So, in this way we have defined all the three categories for all the five parameters. So, now we are having each of these parameters in the system is given weightage according to their class and the complexity. So, here we are having this respective. So, how many categories are there? Three categories. How many parameters are there? Five parameters. So, here we have put the respective weightages. The table above that means the previous slide table raw function yields a raw function point. So, that means in that case calculating this this respective weightages and the respective these parameters, we can easily calculate the raw function point. So, these function points are adjusted according to the environment complexity. System is described using 14 different characteristics. So, these are the 14 different characteristics we have listed here. So, these are the 14 different characteristics. So, these external factors are then rated from 0 to 5. So, 0 to 5 means how many ratings are there? 6 ratings. So, as men mentioned below, so no influence means 0 and essential means 5. So, these particular characteristics, so they have got they have got ranked or rated from 0 to 5 accordingly. So, how many such characteristics we had? We are having we had 14 different characteristics. So, how many ratings, how many different types of ratings are possible? So, here we are having this, this one is our 5 different kinds of rating because no influence is having the rating value 0. So, obviously, if you multiply the respective uh, any value with the 0, it will be getting 0 there. So, all ratings are then summed up to get this n. So, what is the value of n? The value of n is ranges from 0 to 70. So, 14 types of characteristics into 5 types of rating. So, if you go on multiplying and if you go on adding, so in this case we can have the respective range from 0 to 70. So, it is used to calculate the complexity adjustment factor. So, this is known as complexity adjustment factor that is CAF in abbreviated form. So, using the following formula, so this is the respective formula. So, how this n will get calculated? We are having the 14 characteristics. We are having the 5, actually we are having the 6 different uh, ratings are there, but the no influence is having the value 0. So, when we will be going for the multiplication, so that value will not be contributing anything. So, that is why my this value of n will be ranging from 0 to 70 accordingly. So, here this particular n, what is the n here? So, that is the CF we are going to calculate and n is getting calculated from here. So, CF is equal to what is the CAF? that is the complexity adjustment factor is equal to 0 0.65 plus 0 0.01 n. So, then delivered function points a p will be C a f into rho a p which we calculated earlier depending upon those parameters. So, this a p can then be used to in various metrics such as cost, quality, 
and productivity. So in this way, how this function point is working and how it can calculate the size of a program and what are the different parameters, what are the different calculations are to be done, we have discussed that one into something more in details. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.